through, which is uh, wonderful. My cabins are rather tiny, I guess. <laughs> I put the key in the door, broke out the darn window. <laughs> That's small. My room's tiny. If I'm laying down, I have to get up, go outside just so I can turn over. <laughs> Hey, you guys been in your state room? You been in your cabins? You have a remote control, right? Yeah, that's my remote control right there. <laughs> and you may have noticed by now you've been on the ship for a few hours. Uh, our cable television uh, is, comes to us out of Denver, Colorado. You may have noticed that. Yeah, on, on, on a slight bit of a delay. <laughs> I just found out today that OJ may have killed his wife. <laughs> show you a lot of movies on the ship. I was on the ship a few weeks ago. They showed us a movie called Cocktail. You ever seen that, now? Yeah, that's a movie that the women know what I'm talking about. If you've never seen this movie, uh, Cocktail, Tom Cruise uh, plays a bartender, and he plays this really good bartender, and all of a sudden there's this terrible tragedy, and he has to rely on this woman to build up his self-esteem. Yeah, it made me think back to another movie he did one time called Top Gun. Did you ever see that, my friend? Top Gun, where he was a fighter pilot. Yeah, he was a good fighter pilot in that movie, and all of a sudden there was this terrible tragedy. He had to rely on this woman to build up his self-esteem. He did another movie called Days of Thunder. That's where he was a race car driver. Yeah, he was a good race car driver in that movie, and all of a sudden there's terrible tragedy. He's got to rely on this woman to build up his self-esteem. Did y'all ever see Color of Money, where he was a pool player? Yeah, he was a good pool player in that movie, and all of a sudden there's this terrible tragedy. He's got to rely on this woman to build up his self-esteem. I liked Jerry Maguire. That's where he was a sports agent. <laughs> he was a good sports agent in that movie, and all of a sudden there's this terrible tragedy. He's got to rely on this woman to build up his self-esteem. Did y'all ever see The Firm where he was a lawyer? <laughs> y'all better laugh. I'll keep going. <laughs> Is there a need to have that much suction on a toilet? <laughs> putting in there. <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad, but they put the flush button right behind you. <laughs> I was sitting there the other day trying to do my business. I leaned up. I ended up in somebody else's cabin. <laughs> Did you notice this? Why is it every time the steward comes and cleans your stateroom, they leave your toilet tissue in a little point? <laughs> I don't feel the need to be that accurate. <laughs> hey, you want to have some fun? I'm what's known as a fly-on comedian. I get off in Cabo and I fly home and my friend Jock Renee, a hypnotist, flies on and does shows for you guys coming back. So I get off in Cabo. You guys are on for five days. Do what I did. Last time I was on the ship for seven days, every time I'd use the bathroom, I'd just put the toilet paper back in the point. <laughs> Like the third day, my cabin steward, he was confused as heck. He left me towel, shampoo, and a brain muffin. <laughs> going to Cabo San Lucas, I'm excited about that. I love going down to Mexico, uh, I love Cabo. Uh, I got this watch down there, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a designer watch, I only paid $18 for it. <laughs> It's a Rolejo. <laughs> I got it last Wednesday at 2.13 p.m. <laughs> you guys are fun. You got your arms all folded like make me laugh. <laughs> well, I don't care if you laugh, but your hands are going to stink now. <laughs> Make me sick, my friend Jonathan on here. Jonathan Crespo. They call him Crespo. He's actually Crespo. He's, he's Italian. He's mafia. I brought him down to Louisiana, took him deer hunting, put the deer in the trunk, then he shot him. I should bring you to Louisiana sometime, John. I travel all over the United States doing this. Let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you the strangest thing that happened to me in my career. I was doing a show one time and I was in this very small town called Pikeville, Kentucky. And at the performance, a guy on the front row, he didn't say a word, he just stood up during my show, took off his right shoe and his sock, put his foot on the stage, he looks at me, he said, what do you think of that? <laughs> Folks, I looked down, this man had six toes. <laughs> on my mother's life, I am not making this up, this man had six toes. He just said, what do you think of that? 